almost always, somewhere between age 12 and 14, every child with ADHD is going to decide one day that they're no longer going to be drugged by their parents. You're trying to make me a drug addict. And it's, it's inevitable. It's just a part of the process of developing autonomy. It's the reaction to the every day I've got to take this pill, you know, you, et cetera, et cetera. And so that's, I, I think, a key challenge to anticipate. And the minute that a question is raised about do I need to take medication, that child needs to be brought into the conversation and ideally set up a, a kind of test. Because the possibility, remote as it may be, is that perhaps this year, this time, it's not as necessary. Mm -hmm. So leaving the door open is, is one part of this. And I, I don't practice anymore in part because of the things that I'm doing, but when I did, I would, I would ask them, you know, I'd prefer to do this test after you've had a month or two of school or near the end of the year, but if it's necessary to do it now, we'll do it now. You're in charge. You're no longer the kind of person we can stick a pill down. You know, you've got to be cooperative, so is it going to be now? If so, let's stop for two weeks. If after the end of two weeks there's no difference in your life, then we'll revisit this, maybe or maybe not. But if you'd rather take the medication, you don't need to ask any permission. If you notice that you're watching the clock when you weren't doing that the week before, if you notice that all of a sudden your teachers are not as scintillating as they seemed, perhaps the medication was doing something. Mm -hmm. And I found that about 95% of the time, very quietly, that individual would resume medication and it stopped to be an issue because now it was their own decision.